Hi everyone and welcome to Isamu Rat Care. So I thought today it might be quite interesting for me to do a really quick look back at um, Burko, who featured in my socialisation videos. I realised that I'd gone through what we'd looked at in the first couple of weeks of him being here, but I never actually followed up and told you kind of the long term story. So I think first of all, um, I've locked him in the cage somewhere, he's probably sulking at me. Oh no, he's, now he's upstairs, he was downstairs. Hey Burke, come down. Basically, um, so the things have been going very well. Um, Burko is now very much a normal member of my group. If you watch any of my videos, he normally visits me uh, at some point. Right, he's coming downstairs now. He, he knows it's outside. That's Chocobo. Not quite the cinnamon we want. Um, so, here you go with Burko. So straight away you can see that he's, he's an awful lot more kind of interested and relaxed. Let's get the... Um, steps to get back down again not really needs them but they're easy to get out so you can see straight away he's interested um, this is picking burko up now um, he doesn't love to be held for a long period of time but he is very happy to be picked up it took me quite a while to get to that stage with him so at first he was very much um reluctant to be picked up he would resist me and i still feel the tension for quite a while actually it probably took um two or three months for me to get past that initial hesitation stage and now I'll hold him up for a certain period of time and then he'll get to the point where he's like, nope, I've had enough, I want to do, I want to be and do things. Um, but in all other ways, he's very much like any other of my rats who I can just pick up and they'll put up with me. Um, he's zooming off now at the mo <laughs> moment, um, having an explore. So when we first saw him, if you think about back to the first video, he was very much... Um, quiet cowering he wanted to interact you could see that in his kind of body motion but he was terrified um, and he didn't want to come out of the cage he didn't really want to do anything um other than he wanted to be a brave rat underneath all that so it took quite a while but um he opened up um and actually building up that trust so it just worked really well um so how i took it from the videos that you saw is i very much continued i didn't do everything as formally as i sometimes do on a video because i wanted to show you lots of different techniques but the things that i found worked for him was um small free range on the work surface and um, with a kind of friend um introducing him to tato and um, who's around here somewhere still who knows no that's his dog Nope, that's Snuffkin. One of my duties, anyway. Um, Tato was, did wonders for his com confidence. Um, he then integrated with the rest of my group and actually gets on really well here. It's Tato. Tato Burko girlfriend. She did wonders for him. She really did. Um, but yes, so actually watching and observing how the other acts interacted with me helped. But actually, I was also still quite patient. So... I, I would still handle him and I always made a point of handling him. It wasn't for very long, it wasn't, wasn't often, it was just kind of a pick up, how are you, right, let's do something else. What we instigated was a little deal that I had. Every time I fed them, I would give Burko a piece of food and it was just a normal piece of food, it was not a treat. Um, I often forget that I own treats, um, much to my rats of displeasure. Um, but it became a deal with us and every day he would come to the front of the cage, take that piece of food off and run off. Then slowly he started sticking around for a second piece of food and the deal was for the second piece of food he had to have a stroke and a scratch um, and that definitely helped as well. And actually now I, I sometimes remember to give him a piece of food, sometimes he launches himself into the food bowl. Um, but it's not necessary really anymore. Um, he enjoys it if he gets it but if not he'll just turn around and um, steal one of the other girls food instead. Um, so it's really kind of come... come out of his shell but actually just that kind of act of showing him that I was um, worth it, that kind of extra attention and oh, he's back again come to visit haven't you mister um, just the fact that I was kind of worth investigating and I had I had something to offer to the relationship really helped um, what's quite nice now for a long time he did not like um, being held uh, chocobo is up to no good as usual now he actually genuinely does like a good scritch he doesn't, uh, yeah, we got Burko Licks. Um, this is a very different rat than the rat that you saw in the early video. Um, initially, I did. I, I tried to give him scratches because actually I find most books like that kind of scratches around the shoulder. Um, and for a good while, he was quite tense with it, um, particularly out of the cage. He found it quite um, kind of stressful, I think, to be held in that way. You have to let your guard down. Here he is. He's clearly terrified of me, aren't you, Burks? Um, but yes, it, 
it was clearly like quite stressful for him and I could feel him quite tense. So I never pushed it. I would just do a little tiny bit, see whether he felt like it. And if he didn't, then let him get on with things and do things his own way. Um, the breakthrough in terms of scritches happened when I thought, actually, when you're out of the cage, and, and this is very true for a lot of animals, you're under a different kind of pressure. It is a more stressful environment. It's not your familiar safety area. And for some rats that get very ter territorial, in the cage might cause them that kind of issue. But for Burko, um, he, whilst he did enjoy free ranging and, and started to actively participate in the, the whole of the rat room like he does now, um, he, he still hadn't actively chosen a visit me, but he didn't want to spend any time particularly on me. Um, he didn't really, un he, he knew I was interesting, he didn't really understand what I was for, <laughs> um, and he didn't really want to do that kind of step towards being kind of affectionate with me in that way and then I just approached him in the cage one day when he was quite relaxed he's in the hammock with all his friends um, quite settled in there and just started giving him a stroke he was quite happy with that then scritching him and then he just melted and started licking me and it was then and that was probably about four four months after I'd started that we just knew and, and since then it's been going from strength to strength he's quite happy for me to scritch him out of the cage now he will actually come and he likes to sit on my knee. He doesn't always like to be fussed, but he likes to sit on my knee and look at me <laughs> because it's a little bit freaky. Um, but then a lot of the time he just loves running around. I mean, you, you can't really see him at the moment. I will try and get a video shortly, but he's skipping around the rat room um, between visiting me again. You're back again, Burke. You're all right. You? Um, but he's, he's a very engaged rat and, and actively interested in me and in everything. And it's perfect, really. I don't need rats that want to cling to me and go to sleep on me all the time. Um, it's, it's quite nice sometimes when they do, though they wouldn't do in free range on the floor. Um, I'm going to actually come and show yourself to the camera. He's um, climbed up again. But he just he wants to do. He doesn't want to sit today. Um, you're too excited, aren't you, Burko? Um, but yes, it, it, I'm, I'm not one for rats that have lots and lots of cuddle sessions. I like rats that are doers, and he very much is. He very much fits into the group here. He's, he's a proper rat's rat. I would say but he, he also genuinely loves people and loves exploring um, he's just a happy boy and it's really nice to think that um, I knew he would settle and I knew he would settle with like a nice group of friends I didn't know that we'd have a very close relationship um, though books do normally like me it's just one of those things um, I tend to get on with most of them hey trouble um, oh, Burko is currently trying to climb up something and hanging on by two legs <laughs> It's not far, thankfully. It's not high off the ground, but it'd be interesting to see. I wonder if I can um, get you a really quick video. You'll probably be disappointed. Oh, no, no, he's on the floor. Yes, yeah, so he's doing his typical explore routine at the moment. Um, and having a good kind of wander around. This is fairly typical Burko. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Um, those branches I've recently brought in from the outside, so they smell fascinating. Anyway, let's um, get back to the video. Small distraction. Um, sadly, I think he decided to fall off just as I started to film it because that's what rats do. <laughs> um, but yes, so um, yeah, he, he's, he's able to be himself and I think that's the important thing. Um, I didn't know that we'd get very close and that he'd get very trusting of me. Hello, Trapper Bud. Um, but it's quite nice to see how relaxed and um, investigative he can be I suppose that's a good way of terming it, terming it but I think that's something to remember when you're trying to socialize a rat it's not about turning that rat into the rat that you want them to be it's about turning that rat into a rat I could just sort of pop it because he's, he's back up and about again um, it's about them being the rat that they can be um, I suspect when Burko turns into an old man he might get a little bit cuddly a little bit lazy um, and such but for now he is um absolutely in his element having a run around um, occasional cuddles he likes to spend a bit of time with me but actually most of his time is spent with his girls um, exploring and getting up to no good um, so yeah so what I've kind of focused on with him is, is letting him have that so a lot of our um, best sessions together have been play sessions when he's been exploring and I've just been there and I've maybe helped him get to somewhere that you couldn't get to or I've done a bit of feather one chasing with him he quite likes a good game um, he's back in the cage again now um, trying to find some food or no trying to find an easy way down he's not quite as agile as the girls bless him um, it's a little bit harder when you're a, a big book 
and all the girls are leaping and climbing everywhere. Um, but yes, so that's one thing to bear in mind when you are doing the socialisation. Don't expect the rat to be suddenly cuddly, licky, amazing. Just your aim is for them to be relaxed with you, relaxed with their life and, and clearly take pleasure out of it. Burko, when I started, was a scared rat. He was a rat that um, couldn't relax and be himself. He, he was kind of in an environment and even a headspace where it was all about fear. Um, and that's the thing that the socialization is sorting out. And that's something to remember when you take on, um, let's say a couple of little um, babies rescued, not well socialized, um, they may be terrified of everything. Don't expect them to get to the point where they will sit on your lap, go to sleep, um, and, and just, just kind of lick you every time you put your hand there. You're not aiming for that. You're aiming for them to be rats, um, be, be their rat. It's much like not every human will like to sit around and read books. Not every rat will want to sit around and sleep on you. Um, allow them to be babies, allow them to play, allow them to skip around, allow them to explore. Um, but what you're aiming for is that relaxed thing so that they're perfectly they understand that you're a friend, that you can pick them up and you're not going to do anything to them. Um, they'll come and visit you like uh, little things just come and done. Um, or Burko has several times. Our little, little foo is. Um, that is kind of what you're aiming for. Um, you're, it's all about finding that kind of personality that's buried underneath the fear and then embracing it because they're fun. Um, and, and that's, I think, a really big lesson that I think I've learned over the years. Um, I have kind of brought around several quite a few um, difficult, I want to say difficult, it's not really that the rat's difficult, it's the circumstances that they're in is difficult, but rats that have needed that little bit of extra love and help. Um, and that is very much about helping them be themselves. So don't feel disappointed if your um, kind of newly socialised rat doesn't spend every minute of the day on you. In fact, they're climbing up the curtains and causing chaos. It's good that they feel confident enough to cause that chaos. And it might not be good for your curtains or your heart if you try and run across the room and save them, but that's them happy and, and being themselves. So just kind of bear that one in mind um, and enjoy it. And um, I would finish this with a, Let's go and have a look for Burko. thing. Um, I'm not actually sure where he is at the moment. I think he's vanished somewhere in the free range room. So let's go and have a, a small search, see if he's up to anything interesting. He will typically visit me for a while and then wander off. Um, sorry. We have the rest of the girls out and about um, visiting me. Aha! Burko has found some food. <laughs> what are you up to, Trouble? Hey, what you found? Is that your dinner? Is that your dinner? No, he says. <laughs> yes, Burko is still very much food motivated. I'm currently very happy. <laughs> but yes, so over and out from us here. Um, I'll leave Burko. He's currently being hassled by the girls over whatever he's found that is um, clearly very special and dropped out of the food bowl last time I gave them. But um, I thought it'd be quite nice to share a little bit of a happy ending. Um, he is a happy boy. He's lovely. Um, so over and out from me and Burko and the rest of the girls.